All right, now, a lot of people probably don't saute their, their crunchy vegetables uh, in butter, but I use about a half a stick of butter, and what I'm going to do is put a little bit of the garlic. Now, this is probably too much garlic, but not to worry. What you can do is you just put a little olive oil, and you can store it in the refrigerator. You'll want to cover it with tight plastic. But, now, remember I told you, all through this process, you're going to be tasting your sauce, so you may want to add some more later. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put in some of my garlic, and I'm going to reserve a little bit for later. Okay, we'll get that going just a little bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and add my onions. And for five pounds of tomatoes, you really do need quite a few onions. Okay, and we're just going to not cook them all the way through, but what we're doing is we're just fusing the flavors together. Okay, so we've got that going. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and, remember I told you I had a couple stalks of celery. I'll go ahead and add that in there now. I'm going to add my bell pepper. Now at this time, I add my rosemary because it's going to just go ahead and enhance uh, this flavor. And I've actually minced my rosemary up. And I want to save a little bit late, uh, for later so that I can add it to the sauce too. But I just want to put a little bit there. And we're just going to add just a little bit of salt because what the salt does is it actually helps the vegetables release their flavors. And I'll just go ahead and just, for the heck of it, because I'm so used to doing that, I'll just add a little pepper for right now, too. Okay. And I'm going to just saute these just for a few moments. And turn that up a little bit. When that's finished, you're going to set this aside. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and get the tomatoes started because it's going to take a long time to cook down five pounds of tomatoes. This is what five pounds of tomatoes all chopped up looks like. And as you can see, it's all pretty finely chopped. And that's our five pounds of Roma tomatoes. So what I'm going to do is uh, I do not put any water in at this time. But what I do is I go ahead and we're going to kick it up probably medium high and what we're going to do is warm these tomatoes up. Now what I had done is I had chopped these and actually put them in the refrigerator. So I need to warm them up and so once they start bubbling then I'm going to put some uh, fluid in with them. So anyway, I'll be back as soon as I'm ready and as soon as my tomatoes have warmed up.